One of the most prominent tropes in the history of Thomas and Friends is the rivalry between steam engines and diesel engines. This is essentially used to show railway discrimination and how to deal with being different. Two episodes that covered that topic are Rock and Roll from Season 4 and Emily and the Special Coaches from Season 10. After seeing both episodes for the very first time during the summer of 2021, I completely forgot about one of them and looked back on the other with fondness. Today, I'm going to compare these two similar yet different episodes and discuss why one rocks while the other isn't too special. I stand by the belief that Emily and the Special Coaches is the superior Steam vs Diesel episode. If you've seen my Season 4 video, you'll know that I find Rock and Roll to be very poor in comparison. The main reason why I think this is because, in simple terms, I find Rock and Roll to be quite bland. I might be shot for saying this, but Rusty and Duncan are two of the worst characters Wilbert Aldry wrote, and Little Old Engine is unironically his weakest book in my opinion. I've said before that Railway Series Duncan is a downgraded copy of Sir Handel, and I also think Rusty exists as merely a plot device to make him learn a lesson. It's a very basic, black and white duo where one is good and the other is bad. The story itself is no different. In it, Duncan insults Rusty, but then derails in the most lightweight fashion possible, Rusty helps him, and Duncan learns to not judge a book by its cover. I just explained the entire plot of the episode in 8 seconds. Ten years and six seasons later, we get a similar plotline but in a very different episode. In Emily and the Special Coaches, Emily insults Diesel and later needs to collect a set of Special Coaches for Gordon. She then finds out that Diesel took them and tries to get them back. Diesel, however, runs away with them until his engine breaks down and he is scolded by Sir Topham Hatt. When Emily manages to get the coaches back, she then finds out that Diesel had only stolen them because she had insulted him earlier, and that he had tried to tell her about a record he had broken, but she hadn't listened. Emily apologises by including him in Gordon's award ceremony and giving him a brand new engine. Notice how long it took me to explain the plot of that episode compared to the other. Straight off the bat, the first thing that's notable in this episode is the characters used. This is the first time ever that Emily interacts with Diesel, and the only time it's been useful for the plot. That was an unexpected choice from the writers, since the two previous seasons had established the recurring rivalry between Thomas and Diesel, so it wouldn't have been too surprising if Thomas was the episode's protagonist instead. But because it's Emily, the episode becomes stronger. Both Emily and Diesel are very much in character here, and as a result, they have an interesting chemistry. For those who don't know, I really like Emily's hit era persona. It keeps her well-meaning, voice of reason side from season 7, but amplifies it so that she also has flaws and more writing potential. In this episode, her overly strict character is mixed with the infamous villain Diesel, who is no season 2 or 7 Diesel, but is decent. He still acts like the average bully, but for the first time, we see him in a sympathetic light. When I first saw the episode, I assumed he would just get punished at the end and Emily would triumph, but there's more to it than that. Even though he shouldn't have stolen the coaches, the only reason he did was because he felt shunned by the others and wanted recognition for once. This is the first time in an episode where both the steam and diesel engine are in the wrong. The events of this episode are caused by Emily for wrongfully insulting Diesel, but in her defence, Diesel is notorious for being destructive, manipulative and rude, so her actions towards him are justified. But this episode also shows that she's got a good sense of morality. When she realises why Diesel did what he did, she feels sympathy for him and makes up for it by giving him a brand new engine, which he needed. I also like the detail of how, even after all the trouble Diesel's caused, Emily is still concerned about the smoke coming from his exhaust. Now let's move back to rock and roll, as I haven't talked too much about it, but to be honest, that's kind of the point. The main problem with it is that it's very one-dimensional in comparison to special coaches. As I say, it suffers from the black and white good guy versus bad guy plot, which isn't terrible, but is very dull. Contrast it to special coaches, an episode where both characters are given flaws and understandable motives. Emily was wrong to insult Diesel, but that didn't mean Diesel should have taken the coaches as revenge. To be fair though, after everything else Diesel has done, it makes sense that Emily would fly off the handle. But Diesel does deserve some praise for his shunting skills, and because Emily's a good character, she gives him some. This leads me into a smaller issue I have with rock and roll. There's no scene where Duncan proves to Rusty that he's truly sorry for his racist remarks. 
That could give kids the impression that no matter what awful things you say, slap the word sorry at the end of your sentence and you're cleared of all charges. It's also obvious that Duncan doesn't develop after this episode, as he continues to be a jerk throughout the rest of the classic era. In Season 5, he bullies Peter Sam for being involved in an accident, and in Season 6 he does the same thing again. He also rudely rushes Scarloe, Reneas and Rusty in Duncan Duncan, but doesn't learn from his mistake, because in Season 7, he leaves without a brake van when delivering a huge statue. Later in that season, he judges Rusty again, in the exact same fashion as before. I don't see why only Trusty Rusty gets blamed for regressing Duncan when I feel all of Season 5 through 7 did this. I'm sorry I was rude to you. No, you ain't! Special Coaches doesn't suffer from this. We see Emily redeem herself by getting the others to appreciate Diesel and helps fix his engine troubles. Does Emily regress in character after the episode? No, she doesn't. She never once judges a Diesel for who they are after this episode. Yes, she gets cross with them in instances such as Day of the Diesels and the missing Christmas decorations, but in those scenarios she had a reason to do so, and was 100% in the right on both occasions. Emily and the Special Coaches is probably my favourite Emily-centric episode, as she clearly learns and develops from it, and her character brushes off Diesels in such an amazing way, which leads to a very unique dynamic and moral. Rock and Roll, on the other hand, doesn't really feel different from the other classic episodes, and easily blends in with Duncan's other stories, as he doesn't learn from his mistakes, and the episode itself reuses the basic formula of a character judging someone and then needing help from them. Just like Thomas, Terence and the Snow, another poor episode in my opinion. Special Coaches beats both of them in telling the same moral, as it makes both its protagonists flawed, but also gives them motives for what they do. The two flawed protagonists concept was a specialty of the early hit era, and this episode is a perfect example. That concept was something that the classic era lacked, I think. In conclusion, Emily and the Special Coaches is much better than Rock and Roll at tackling the Steam vs Diesel trope. It made a solid, one-off dynamic between two already great characters, and used it to tell a strong, complex moral. Rock and Roll, on the other hand, pales in comparison with two poorly written characters and a predictable overused story. Normally, preferring a Season 10 episode over an Audrey story is heresy towards the fandom, and while Season 4 is a better season than Season 10 overall, it's not completely flawless, and sometimes the hit era did things better. So that was the first episode of my new series, Thomas Compared. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I've got a couple more episodes in stock, one of which will be focusing on two episodes from the same season. There will also be non-comparison videos on the way as well, so stay tuned!